Welcome to the New York City Thrift Hall and Tryout. I went to New York to see some of my friends a couple weeks ago, and of course, knowing me, I thrifted a lot of clothes, like a little too much. But because of that, I get to do a cute little haul for you guys and show you guys how I'm going to style everything. This is also going to be the last video that I film on my little iPhone 13 because we hit 10K. <laughs> I set a goal for myself at the beginning of 2024 that if I hit 10k, I would get myself a camera because I have to take it a little bit more seriously and we're going to start getting some higher quality videos going. Personally, I'm starting to think that I have a little too many clothes. This isn't even half of it, but I'm hoping that I can start selling some of them. So make sure you guys are on my Depop because I might be doing a few dumps soon with clothes that I no longer wear. All right, let's get into it. So I did a lot of my decision making using my Instagram stories and just straight up asking people what they thought I should buy. And this top was a bit of a controversial one. As you can see, it's got some cool designs. It's kind of giving mermaid vibes, and it's more on the color palette that I'm moving towards these days. I try not to think too much about the brands, but more so how the clothes feel on me and how they feel to the touch. And this felt really sturdy, so I decided to buy it for like 10 bucks at Buffalo Exchange near FIT in Manhattan. It does have a tag on it, and the brand is Free People, so let's go ahead and try it on. I feel so earthy wearing this. Oh my God. When I bought it, it kind of felt like a tunic. So I was imagining like a tunic with pants or a tunic with a maxi skirt kind of look. Honestly, I kind of dig how I'm wearing it right now, but let's add some more style and flair to it. I thrifted these shoes at a Goodwill in Troy, New York, near one of my friend's schools. I was at a point in my trip where I was like, I'm not buying any more clothes. But once I saw them, I just knew, like I knew I had to take them home with me and somehow make it fit in my suitcase. The brand is Apex and they fit me perfectly even though they look a little big. It's kind of giving Gorp core. You can't see my feet, but I'm hoping if I do this, you can. I think I might fall now. Anyways, these are my first two items, which is this top from Free People and these sneakers from Apex. Let's look at some more cute items that I have. I thrifted this absolutely Gorgina dress. Like, isn't it so cute? I did a poll on my Instagram story because I only had room for like one more item and this was the dress that won because truly it deserved to win. Let's try her on. Okay, looking cute. It kind of fits me a little bit wide, but honestly, I'm kind of a fan of the shapeless look. Maybe it's just me. When I bought this, I had two big styling options in mind. One was dress over skirt and the other was dress over pants. Both of which are a little bit controversial to the community for some reason, but I think they're cute, so we're gonna wear them. I also already wore this dress to a pre-Grammys event and I decided to kind of cinch the waist by using bows and safety pins, which I highly recommend you guys try for any clothes that don't fit you perfectly, you know? Let me first show you guys how this looks if I wear a long skirt under. Here we have my mom's black maxi skirt, which is actually mine now because I stole it from her. Is this not the cuntiest thing you've seen today? I feel very Gorgina in this. Wearing maxi skirts is kind of my whole personality at this point. So like wearing a maxi skirt with a dress is simply the move to me. I really need to prove a point to the world that black sneakers kind of go with everything. And these were literally $9 at Goodwill and they're so worth it because is it not cute? Is it not serving? Like someone in the comments is probably going to hate this. So shout out to you if you don't like it because I like it. You know, when I was younger, I used to be so insecure when I wore dresses. Like for some reason, I was going through like a major tomboy phase. And every time I wore a dress, I just felt so uncomfortable and out of place. I was going through this like skater girl phase where I was really into Eminem, yeah. but I was also really into the K-pop girl group twice, which is like a dichotomy of being like a little girl in America for some reason. I think fifth grade me would have a heart attack if she saw me wearing a dress and a skirt right now. Like she would, she would be tweaking. <laughs> this dress is also looking giving Olivia Rodrigo vibes, if you know what I mean. I could totally see me wearing this with like black satin gloves if I had some right now. Up next, we have this like cargo skirt that I found at the Goodwill near FIT. I didn't get to try it on because they don't have fitting rooms in that Goodwill, which kind of saddened me because normally I do not buy things without trying them on because I hate when clothes don't fit me right. But I just had a lot of faith because it looked so cute and I just couldn't resist. So if this doesn't fit me right, I'll probably sell this on my Depop, which would be really sad for me. It has this like really long waistband, which is kind of nice because I feel like that means I can turn it into a dress as well. Let's go ahead and try it on. I've been trying to get a cargo skirt for so long, but I haven't wanted to buy it new because because again, sustainability, saving money, and not buying too many clothes or all that. Yay! Once I saw this, I knew that this was a skirt that my mind had been longing for for like years. Let's go ahead and wear like a tiny black t-shirt on top to just show you guys what the vibes are. So cute. Technically, I thrifted this at Goodwill back at home, but I think it fits the vibes really well. Little black bags for the win, guys. Wait, once I added the sneakers, this literally became such a fit. Like, Whoa! oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Like, I'm literally obsessed. This is why I bought those black sneakers, even though I had no suitcase space for them, because they literally go with everything. 
this goes to show the power of basics as well because it's literally just a black t-shirt and a skirt but it looks so good because this is just like a regular basic that goes with like a statement vibe so i've created a fit do you guys see the thought process is am i making sense are the words wording i think it's fit but also i want to try and style as a dress so we're going to try that right now i think i could literally just pull this up and it would become a dress let's, ju let's just test my theory it's kind of getting bubble skirt do you guys know what i mean but it's literally not like it's just the same material and vibes and i like those vibes i'm gonna try throwing on some flowy pants under this to complete like a dress over pants kind of look this is the three c's of fashion cute comfy and cunt and i think it fulfills all three honestly it's still a little bit big like it might fall down here and there but i can always wear a safety pin and if i really really feel like it doesn't fit i will just sell it and give up i'm gonna put the sneakers on for a full look this skirt was definitely my favorite purchase of the trip, but now we're gonna try on this corset that I also thrifted. This is another Goodwill buy FIT find. Honestly, I'm really happy with it because I don't think I own enough like going out in college tops. They didn't have a fitting room, but I kind of had faith because it's like my exact size. So I was like, there's no way it won't fit, right? Of course I was right because I always am. Yay! So we're gonna wear my usual black scarf to style this. Wow. I'm kind of digging the black slacks, so I'm gonna keep those. And then, of course, the sneakers that I thrifted, because why would I thrift them if I'm not gonna wear them with every single outfit? Let's also wear my gorgeous little white bag. Tell me this isn't cute. Argue with me. Fight me. I will disagree with you, and I will argue you in the comments, because I think it's cute. Story time. I also just decided to go to New York in the middle of the semester like a dumb hoe. <laughs> And that really backfired. I decided to drop my finance class and join a different section the day that I left because I just did not like my prof. And when I did join that section, I discovered that I had a quiz the day after I came back from New York. And so I learned the entire four weeks of content that I had missed over the course of three days. And then I came back and got 100 on my quiz. But also, I was emotionally damaged after doing that. End the video. Let's go ahead and get ready for my songwriting class because we have a song due today. Obviously, if you couldn't tell, the skirt was my favorite piece. So we're going to go ahead and use that. I'm actually not wearing contacts and I'm filming this blind because my left eye has been hurting a little so I'm gonna wear my glasses and you guys are gonna see me look a little nerdy. No rings because I actually have to pay the piano in songwriting class and perform my little song. It's giving a scarf because it's a little chilly outside. If you don't like it, that's fine because I'm into it. Personally, I think the skirt is the best piece out of everything I purchased, besides the sneakers, of course. Shout out to my New York City thrift haul. And that's it for this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to comment which one was your favorite piece. Thanks for watching. Bye. Please, I'm so scared for songwriting class. Why do I have to perform this live? <laughs>